Hi everyone, this is Ben Sanger with the Learning Technology Center of Illinois. And in this quick video, we're gonna learn how you can add students and co-teachers to your Google Classroom. So you can see we're in my class here and we are going to add some students to this class. So to do that, we actually go up to the people section. Okay, so there's actually a couple of different ways we can do this. Uh, when we go into the people section, you can see that I now have all of the students that are in my class, but I also have all the teachers that are in my class. So a quick way to add students is to click on the little icon here that says invite students. So when I select that, you can see I can start typing in students' names. So I can add Dwight Schrute to my class and then send him an invite. And what that's going to do is that's going to show up in uh, Dwight's Google Classroom where it will appear that uh, he has a class uh, in his area, which would look similar to this here, and it'll say accept invite. Okay, uh, so that's one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it is actually from your stream, you can go over to the about section. And then you see you have class code. And so I have my class code here, but that's very small. But what I want to do maybe is click on display. And that'll make it a little bit bigger. So my students can go to classroom.google.com, select the plus sign at the top, and then select join class. And it'll ask for this code. You can also make it a little bit bigger by clicking on this, and it'll go full screen. So if you put it on your projector, uh, then everyone will be able to see it very clearly. You cannot customize this code yet. Um, so that is something that would be nice to do, but is not possible. So those are a couple ways that you can add students to your class. Now, what about co-teachers? So back here in people, if I want to add a co-teacher to this class so that they can have some of the same right the same rights that I do. Um, maybe it's a paraprofessional that's in my class or perhaps it's somebody that I, I just co-teach with uh, another another teacher in my discipline or a, a cross-curricular class. I can click invite teachers and then in the same way that we did with uh, Dwight we can add in a co-teacher here and send that invite over to them and they will be able to then uh, join my class as a teacher and have all the same responsibilities that I do as a teacher in the class. Um, another thing that we want to cover while we're in the people section is the invite guardians area. So if you have this displayed, that means that your Google admin has turned this on. If it's not there, then you're gonna need to ask your Google admin to turn this feature on if it interests you. So what this does is when I invite a guardian, um, I can type in students' guardians information here, their email address. And what that does is it sends that guardian an invitation to receive daily or weekly summaries uh, from this student's Google Classroom. So this is really great because what it's gonna do is it's gonna send out a list of uh, upcoming assignments, uh, light work, and then what your student's currently working on. And the parent can choose to get that either daily or weekly. So just a nice way that you can communicate uh, with guardians. Lastly, when we're in this section, you might wanna understand how you can communicate with your students. So like right here, I wanna send something to Writer. If I click on these three dots over here, you'll see that I can directly email this student. And what this does is this populates Gmail real quick. It brings up that student's email account and I can send them an email quickly. I can also click the box next to the name, go up here to Actions, and I can see I can email them from here. I can also remove them from the class if they left, or what I can do is mute them. So if I mute them, you can see what this does is it allows students to still submit work, but not display to other students. So like in the example of a question, if Ryder submits an answer to a question, but I have students can see uh, other students' responses, they can see, students will see everybody else's, but they won't see Ryder's. Um, it also turns off the ability to re reply to classmates' work and uh, the ability to comment or post to the class stream. Um, so that's something that is uh, useful if you're trying to uh, eliminate some distractions from some particular students. You can see a little mute icon appears next to the name when that's enabled. Uh, to turn that off, you can right click, you can click on that student and then go unmute. And now that student has full posting capabilities uh, as they did before. So that's just a little bit of how you can work with your students inside of Google Classroom, how you can add them, uh, and then also how you can uh, uh, turn on uh, their ability to communicate with others uh, and uh, whatnot. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, please make sure you subscribe to the LTC's YouTube channel for more and follow us on Twitter at LTC Illinois and then follow our blog ltcillinois.org slash blog. And you can follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Sangra. Thanks for watching.